when you come across a piece of information, it's important to evaluate it for accuracy and determine if it's a good fit for your needs. This is especially true in the health sciences, where it's critical that information that you have is accurate and up to date so that you can provide the best care possible. To help you think about the information that you find in a critical way, ask yourself the five W's. Who, what, when, where, and why. Who created the information? The author or creator might be an individual, multiple people, or even a company or organization. What do you know about that person or organization? Do a little digging. Search Google for their credentials. What makes them qualified to provide that information? In the health sciences, quality information typically comes from healthcare professionals or researchers with experience in the field and who hold advanced degrees or certifications in health science and medicine. What does that piece of information tell you about your topic? Does it add to your knowledge of the topic or provide a new perspective? And is it the right type of information for your particular need? For instance, if you are researching how to explain a procedure to a patient, you will want different types of information than if you're researching a disease or a particular nursing process. A peer-reviewed double-blind case study about a new treatment for a particular condition may be useful if looking into how to provide treatment and the options available, but is probably not the best source for providing patient care instructions. When was the information created? In the health sciences, information changes rapidly, and it's vital to get the latest research. A good guideline is to seek information created in the last five years. This helps ensure that you have the most up-to-date research available and are not relying on practices that are out of date. Older information may be useful in certain cases, like when discussing historical practices, but it shouldn't typically be used in clinical practice. Where did the creator get their information? Just like you're expected to cite your sources or tell you got your information for a class project, quality information sources should reference where they got their information. If an article discusses a study, do they tell you which study and give you details about it? Can you verify that they looked at good research themselves in order to provide their information? Why was the information created? Was the article written to educate or inform? Or was it created to advertise and sell a product? It's important to determine what the intent of the article is to ensure that it fits your needs and to recognize any potential bias. For example, a research study published by a pharmaceutical company about one of its drugs may be inherently biased towards their product. It doesn't mean that it might not be valuable information, but just be aware of possible bias when using the information and try to find additional sources to make sure that you have all perspectives. If you've gone through the W's and you're still not sure if your information's a good fit, Check with your academic allies, like your librarians. We're here to help you succeed.